Section 11.2, summation notation. We're going to be looking at summation notation, uh, which is how we come up with what is a series. So up until now, we've looked at sequences. Sequences gives us, literally, a sequence of terms. What we can now do is we can take the sequence, define terms, and then we can add those terms together. Adding these terms together is what gives us a series. So a sequence might be the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. But then the series would be 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16. All right, so let's look at an example. What if we wanted to add the first five terms of this sequence? First thing we want to do is come up with the first five terms. We use this definition, we come up with a1 by plugging in 1. So we get 2 to the 1 minus 1, which is 2 to the 0, which is just 1. For a sub 2, we take 2 to the 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the 1, which is just 2. For a sub 3, we take 2 to the 3 minus 1, which is 2 squared, and gives us 4. a sub 4, we take 2 to the 4 minus 1, which is 2 cubed, and that's just 8, and then we're going to get 16. So we should notice that since this is an exponent, what we're doing is we're multiplying by 2 to get from one term to the next. All right, now, so now we'll add these terms together. We're going to take 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, plus 16. I realize that 2 plus 8 is going to be 10, 4 plus 16 will be 20, that will give me 30, so this is going to be 31. And that is the sum of our series. There is a special way to notate this using summation notation. Actually, we'll keep this in view. What we want to use is the Greek uppercase letter sigma. This is sigma, and that means sum. So here you see the summation notation. This sigma tells us we're summing our numbers. It tells us to start with plugging in i for 1 and to end with i is 5. We'll hit every number in between, so we'll plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And we plug it into this formula. So basically, what this summation notation is telling us is start with i equals 1. We do 2 to the 1 minus 1. And then we add it to the next term, plugging in 2 for i. We get 2 to the 2 minus 1. Then 2 to the 3 minus 1, 2 to the 4 minus 1, and then 2 to the 5 minus 1. We already know that this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and that these add to 31. Right, here's an example for you to try. I want you to evaluate the following sums. Try these on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solutions. Okay, for this first one, we're starting with i equals 1, and we're summing all the way up to i equals 4. So we do 3 times 1 minus 2, plus 3 times 2 minus 2, plus 3 times 3 minus 2, plus 3 times 4 minus 2. This gives us 3 minus 2, plus 6 minus 2, plus 9 minus 2, plus 12 minus 2. I get 1, plus 4, plus 7, plus 10. I know that 1 and 4 are 5, plus 7 is 12, plus 10 is going to give me 22. Okay, let's look at the next one. I want to take a summation from i equals 3 to 5. So I take 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. So I get 9 plus 16 plus 25. Know that 9 and 16 is going to be 25, so I get 50. And those are the two answers to the summation problems.